Hey everybody, how we doing today? Pack Opening Addict. And for those that are longtime followers of this channel, you know I have a special place in my heart for Iconic Masters. Well, thankfully, we've got four patrons today. We're going to do, it's going to be a break. Not a bell, it's going to be a break. Traditional, old school box break here of a box of Iconic Masters. So we've got four fantastic participants and each one's going to get six packs and hopefully we pull all that Iconic Masters could possibly give us. All right, let me get the packs out. I've always kind of liked this set since I got back into MTG. I think the Uncommon Spot is kind of awesome. I think there's a lot of really cool rares in it. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, it's kind of some of the things I look for since you can't always count on what those three mythics are. Obviously, hopefully we get some spicy mythics here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Just going to do a little shuffle up here. And then I'm going to divvy it out. So, Greg, you've got six packs, if I can get them. There we go. Jason. Six packs. Keith, six packs. Yes, I'm going to keep saying six packs. And Luke, six packs. Perfect. All right, here we go. All right, let's hope, let's hope this is an awesome box of Iconic. Um, I will say in my, I don't know, 15 boxes of Iconic Masters, it's, these are, these are generally range from, eh, it was fine, to can be pretty solid. So let's get into the first pack here. I guess you could say the swings are not as strong as a double masters or eternal masters or ones like that. So we'll say commons, not anything too particular. Not that there aren't some good commons, but nothing that really going to stop at. Shield mage, traditional Sarah Angel, the pristine talisman, and a blood gas to start us off. All right, all right, that's how you start it. Oh, man. And a foil thought seize back to back. What a first pack. That is spectacular. Hold on a second. Hold on. In traditional POA style. Thankfully, they weren't too far from me. I need to sleeve that up. Not that I do that all that often, but this, a foil thought seize, gets the sleeve. Okay. I don't know, how should I do this? Uh, I guess I'll do two at a time. All right, Greg, pack number two. It's not a battle, so it doesn't really matter, but. Yeah, we'll get through the commons. The Battle Priest. The Doom Blade. Aetherize. And another Thought Seize. This is wild, okay? You know what, Greg, you never really told me your, your play colors. And search for tomorrow foil. If it's black, right now you're pretty happy. All right, Jason, let's do your first two. We got the Meanderer. Just all meandering it up. Assault Formation. Palladium Mirror. And a river of tears to start us off. I'm always still surprised they never really truly completed this land cycle. They left so much on the table from uh, from future sight. Anyway, and a Balaged scorpion. Dragon tokens, uh, probably a couple bucks. All right, pack number two for Jason. Okay, this pack is just falling apart on me and not in the good ways. There we go, there we go. That's how you can open a pack. See, you can do it. All right, the Orzhov Land. Lightning Helix, good uncommon. And Monster Swift Spirit. It's like three good uncommons in a row. Bounce Land. Simic Sky Swaller. Man, I loved this card when it came out in Dissension. I, I know that it's just a big dumb creature, but man, I loved that card. Guided Strike, and a Dragon. Keith, 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 your first pack. We got the Meanderer again. 
a, no, oh, it's gonna be blade wing. Yep, so that's the corner on the blade wing is not quite right. Oh no, 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 no. Ah, come on, man. Freaking, ah. That, that's the best card of your pack. Fo foil, one of these is like three bucks. Ah, channel, why? Seriously, why did Wizards do that? And it's the same thing with, with printing Balance in Mythic in, uh, in Eternal. And which one did they put in M25? I forgot which one it was. Ah, uh, that's all right. We got we got to rebound. We got to recover. We can do this. Keep our eye on the prize. Knight of Souls betrayal. Okay. Hey, look, packs. The rest of you, all four of you. This does not happen again. You see? Okay, Luke, first pack. Golgari Rot Farm, Skywise Teachings, Electrolyze, Magus of the Moon, which has been recovering in price, and Appraise Vengeance, and then Nature's Claim, that's a nice common pull. Hey, Windfall, all right, that's solid. Dragon Tempest, two solid uncommons in a row. The Aqueduct, so three in a row. And Savage Born Hydra. Not the card we're looking for, but we should start with the Magus. Okay, we're going to go back to Greg. I wonder how much that Foil Thought Seize is. I have legit no idea. 30 bucks, 20 bucks, somewhere probably between there. Blizzard Spectre, the Ambusher. Oh, Kokusho! Man, you, Greg, what is with you and all of the black rares in this set? Oh, that is another fantastic hit. Okay. This is wild. All right, well, Greg, your, your fourth pack. All right, Sanguine Bond, <laughs> just, just straight killing it. You're building a black deck out of the just the packs you're opening here. Mirror, Flare, Lord of the Pits. <laughs> Not a hit, but still goes with the theme of your packs. Yeah, hey, Foil Pristine Talisman. Oh, that is hilarious. It's definitely not going to go on top, though. Okay, Jason, your next pack. That's wild. That is wild. <clears throat> okay, Memoir, Great Teacher's Decree, Prodigal Pyromancer, Crucible of Fire. Not what we're looking for. Noxious Dragon Foil. All right, come on. Let's get something sweet here, huh? I don't know. Let's pull, uh... Let's pull Sarah Ascendant. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. Let's pull that. No, no, no. Let's pull Horizon Canopy. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Mamori Rampage in Belos. Good card, but has been reprinted to Oblivion. Okay, Keith. So we still have at least two more Mythics. Well, what should be two more Mythics. Outstanding in this box. Possibly three. I should be calling out the fact that this does have uh, uh, what something compass and then uh, mindstone. Okay, Keith, here we go. The Rot Farm, the Corpse Jack Menace, Dragon Loft Idol. Hey, there we go. Cryptic Command. See, you listened. Now listen for Jason. Okay, Cryptic Command. Nice pull. And then Jason's Phantasm.
Hey, Jason's last two packs. Bring some heat, will you? Killing me over here. Cephalid, Inspiring Call, Fight a Gold Pyromancer, and Runescar Demon. Okay, solid pull. Not a home run, but there we go. Okay, Luke, your next two packs. Oh, all right, the bobble shows up. So we got ourselves Measures Bobble. No matter how many times you print it, it just keeps rebounding in price. Hunting Pack, Missouri Angel, and Oblivion Stone. Okay, and a Jungle Barrier Foil. The bobble's like pulling a good rare. <clears throat> Okay, Haunting Him, Carnarium, Swords, sweet. And Restoration Angel, that's actually not too shabby. Not a huge hit, but not bad. And the Thief. The Uncommon Spot keeps doing work. Okay, Greg, your last two packs. Will the theme continue? Will we find Necropotence? That would be hilarious. Forge Tender. Chancery, Hero's Bane, Austere Command. I was hoping. Oh, another foil. Okay, Greg, you're hamburglaring the uh, foil rares here. You got yourself Supreme Verdict in the foil rare. That ended up being a solid pack right there. Okay, your last pack. Man, you're killing it in the rares. Legit. Fog Bank. Hey, Mind Crank, there's another one. The hits keep coming, they don't stop coming. Hey, Abyssal Persecutor. Well, it fits the theme you were going for, but not quite the pull that we're looking for, but still. Pretty much lightning hits all throughout here. Put those in the bottom. But, I mean, Foil Supreme Verdict, Blood Ghast, Foil Thought Seize, regular Thought Seize, Lord of the Pit can go in the bottom, and Kokusho. Crazy. All right, Jason, your last two. We should, again, we have six packs left, and we've only pulled one Mythic so far. Okay, the Thrall, Enlarge, Rift Bolt, good pull. Hey, there we go. Consecrated Sphinx. That is a great pull right there. Nice job. Nice pull. Sweet. That's what we like to see. All right. <clears throat> Let's do that again. Okay, Monument, Azorius Charm, come on, Abzan Falconer, and Fireman Angel. Really cool card back when it came out, has not kept up with the times, unfortunately. Got tons of play when Rav came out. All right, Keith, your last two packs. There's still one more Mythic hiding in these final four packs. Who is going to pull it? Well, probably anyway. Thrawn Dynamo. Awesome uncommon pull. The Tormentor. Scourge of Valkis. Solid card. Not quite what we're going for, but it's okay. All right, Keith, your last pack. Excuse that noise, folks. I apologize. I have some new noisy neighbors. Dragon Tempest. Overgrown Battlement. Free Blade. Necropotence was in the box. Whoo. Oh, wow. Okay. Keith. Things turned around nice. Okay. And the white of Precinct 6. Oh. Well, that makes up for channel. It, uh, it does that. And Cryptic Command 2. That's pretty sweet. All right. I'm just going to straighten piles so I don't knock stuff over. Let's get into the final two packs with Luke. Will we have another Mythic? But there are awesome, uh, awesome rares that have not been pulled yet. So will we get those awesome rares in this final two packs? Aether Vial. That's on in play here. Uh, what's his name? The the ah, can you remember the name of it? The the white creature thing with protections and 
Sanguine Bond, Simic Growth Chamber, Bogardin Hellkite. Not the pull we are looking for here. All right, last pack. Come on. Last pack. Plenty of good rares to pull from. Still plenty of stuff we can get here. Let's get it. And Star Compass, Skywise Teachings, Bog Brew Witch, Boros Garrison, and for the last we got Glimpsy Unthinkable. So there you go, right? That's one of those good rares. And then a Radiant Fountain Foil, and that is all she wrote on this opening. Well, that was a pretty good box. See, that goes exactly like the Uncommon Spot is killer. Every single box is open, the Uncommon Spot, it just does work. And so even though, okay, there was a few things we missed, um, that was still a pretty solid box. And it's hard, from, from what I've opened with these, it's hard to actually get really crushed. And while I didn't want to say that before the video because you never want to jinx yourself, it is, it is difficult to open up a box of Iconic Masters at the current price point and go to Pound Town. And that's a good feeling to me. Maybe not to everybody, but it is to me. You can open up one of these. You tend to have a decent to good experience. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 5,000. Who knows? Maybe we hit it by the time this video posts. But I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate you all watching. appreciate the patrons especially. Thank you, everybody. Bye.